Hey guys, uh, a while ago I wrote a book about misconceptions, so things people believe but they're not actually true. And Lee's at the age now where she wants to know everything about everything, so I thought this would be fun and educational for her. What was the first animal to be made into a pet? Oh, and Lily, the rule is the most obvious answer is always wrong. <laughs> so the obvious answer to that has to be a cat or a dog, but it's not. What do you think was the first animal to turn into a pet? Tiger? It's something that you would need for the cold. Reindeer. Like Santa Claus. Lily, what animal makes the biggest nest? This one. No. Oh shit. Really good guess, Lily. Um, but the biggest nest is made by a gorilla. <laughs> Look at your face. <laughs> And they make a new nest every single day. Lily, what do apes eat? Are they a carnivore? What? Are they like... You said, did you say carnivore? Yeah. Well, what do you usually think uh, apes eat? You might be able to guess this, right? Plants. Yes, Lily, good girl. I thought you were going to say bananas. But um, bananas don't grow in the wild where apes are. They eat plants, berries and flower and even bark from the trees. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be sick. Lily, what colour is the sun? White. How did you know that? Smartness. <laughs> Smartness! Yeah, the sun is constantly exploding. The red-orange light is the explosion, but behind that, the sun is white. Lily, what is the sun made of? Or just the same ga galaxy, but... No, Lily, the sun is not made of galaxies because that would be insane. Although you didn't say the obvious answer, which is fire. It can't be made of fire because fire can only exist where there's oxygen, space doesn't have any. It's made of hydrogen. Lily, name a berry. Blackberry. No. Blueberry. Yes! Good Banana. girl. Banana. Yes! <laughs> yeah, the, uh, the only obvious one that's right is blueberry. Blueberry is a berry. Raspberry? What? Raspberry? No. Uh, a strawberry is an aggregate of fruit. Raspberry is a perennial fruit. And a blackberry is a bramble fruit. But yeah, you're right, bananas are berries. And speaking of bananas, Lily, what do bananas grow on? Nope. Wrong. Lily! <laughs> I think it's wrong. It begins with the letter H. Hedges. Mm, good guess. Herbs. There is no such thing as a banana tree. What colour are coconuts? Nope. Beige. Beigel. Beigel? Beige. <laughs> Beige, 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 um, what, um, like tan color. They're green. They're green on a tree and then they fall and crack open and inside is the brown that you see. Lily, what is the most dangerous sport in the world? High jump. What? High jump. But that, High jump? I mean, polar, like, goes like. Will his date then go over? Lily, I'll give you a clue. It's a sport that you know, and it's the one that you would think is the least dangerous. So the obvious ones would be football or something, or something like that, but no, it's something really dangerous. It actually gets people killed. Hurdles. Kite flying. Hundreds of people get hospitalized every single year from kite flying, mainly in India and Pakistan. Oh my god. What did Native Americans live in? Oh, they're cold. Wigwams? No. Uh, I was trying to trick you. Everyone thinks they're wigwams. I've actually been in wigwams in Cuba, but no, they're not. They lived in teepees. <gasps> yes, that's what they call teepees. Dang it. <laughs> We've made one before in my school. How does a bike work? Uh, pedals by leaning, leaning on something. Lily, nobody in the world knows how a bike works. In the entire world. Not people at NASA or scientists. Um, uh, Rina. No, nobody does. There was a guy, I think his name was Andy Riena. He was a mechanical engineer and he proved that nobody can say that. And I actually spoke to him on Twitter and he explained to me, yet yeah, no one scientifically understands how a bike works, how it stays up. It doesn't make any sense. You think a four-year-old can understand it, but nobody does. It's really weird. We've split an atom in pieces, but we can't explain how a bike works. So like I had like a chain, but then like there's pedals attached to it. She figured it out. Lily, if you cut yourself, what should you do with the wound? Clean it out. 
That's pretty good, Lily. I was going to say suck the wounds, but you shouldn't. That's where all the bacteria is. That's really that's the worst place you can put anything to get an infection. Oh, I think you know this one, Lily. How many muscles are in your fingers? Zero. Yes. Wait, um, people can like do that. I can't do that. What does that got to do with anything? Yeah, anytime I say that to people, everyone just always looks at their fingers like, that's impossible. There's nerves, bones, and blood in your fingers, but no muscles. To move them, you're using muscles here to move them. Lily, why were high heels invented? Because they make you look sexy. Lily, high heels were made for men to make sure they could stay on a horse without falling off. Persian archers needed it so they wouldn't bob up and down when they were trying to hit their target. Lily, when's the last time you've used tinfoil? Yesterday. Never. You have never used tinfoil in your life. Basically, people realize that tinfoil changes the taste of what it's covered in, so they stop using it. They actually use aluminum foil when they say tinfoil. Tinfoil has been used since 1910. And for the last question, um, there's a dog now in the video of some reason. Lily, what does your school teacher write with when she writes on the blackboard? No. I'm actually going to read this exactly from the book. School teachers use gypsum to write on the blackboard. Chalk has never been used for this purpose. Gypsum and chalk look identical, but are made of different materials. Gypsum comes from the Greek word gypsos, which means chalk, but it's still not chalk. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know how well you guys did. Don't laugh. And um, if you want to do another one of these in the future, let me know. And if you want more of these facts, you can check out the book. It's on Amazon, on paperback and Kindle. It's made up of four books, book one, two, three, and four, or you can buy it as a collection as the Mega Misconception book.